And now I'd like to introduce um, our 2008 award winner for the best RFID implement implementation. Um, as I said, I think that, that Airbus has done a phenomenal job of deploying RFID in a way that, that maximizes value. They're taking a, an enterprise-wide approach. They're looking at the applications that will deliver the most value and, uh, and, and, and building out a, an infrastructure that's going to not only solve one problem for them, but help improve their operations across the entire enterprise. Uh, the gentleman who leads that effort is uh, Carlo Nizam. He is uh, a terrific speaker. I heard him, he spoke at our, our event in Europe a couple of years ago and I was knocked out. Um, he, he, he tells the story uh, better than, than anyone else could about the value that RFID can and is creating for his company. So please give a great round of applause for Carlo Nizam. I look a lot younger in the, uh, in the picture and I think I have a lot more hair. <laughs> well, good afternoon and uh, it's great to be back. The last time we were here was, uh, was in 2008 and since then uh, we've, got a, we've made a significant amount of progress and I'm happy to share with you a lot of that news today and a lot of firsts uh, we haven't announced uh, before today in fact. What I'm going to do today is really give you an overview of our corporate program. I'm also going to try and explain some of the business challenges that we face as a company, both near-term and long-term, and try to hook into how RFID is helping us address those challenges. Um, and I'm also going to spend quite a bit of time talking about the different use cases, the actual uh, projects that we've been doing, both past and, and future projects. But before sharing with you what it is that we're doing, I think it's very pertinent given the fact that we've got a lot of our A350 suppliers here who are actually going to be putting RFID tags on parts to spend a few moments explaining why it is that we want to do RFID and, uh, and the actual journey that we've taken. So, you know, if you look at Airbus, if you take a step back and you look at, uh, uh, look at things from 30,000 uh, feet up, we're a very big company. We're geographically dispersed. We've got many, many different sites across the world. And we're not immune to uh, macroeconomic factors. Uh, you know, we, we do have to face uh, exchange rate pressures. Every 10 cents on the dollar to the euro costs us a billion in EBIT, believe it or not. And we've got a lot of cash being drained in the company on new aircraft programs uh, for new facilities, new tooling, new capital assets. And the same is true because we're facing production rate increases as well. So that swallows up a lot of cash. On top of that, we've got cost reduction programs which are looking to, the tune, to take out to the tune of 2.2 billion euros by the end of this year. And even on top of that, we're looking really to establish ourselves as a leader uh, from an eco-efficient perspective. So, you know, the key thing is that there's, there's no time for napping um, and there's a, there's a lot of pressure to continuously improve and, and innovate. Now, that said, um, what I'm going to try to do is explain how increasing visibility and how RFID actually helps us address some of those challenges. So I can try to explain to you how we see things inside Airbus. Well, all of our business savings, whether they're cash, uh, EBIT, or cost avoidance, in our view, can only come from one thing, and that is business process improvements. Uh, in other words, changing how we do something. But to improve a process, we need to understand what's working and what's not working. So in other words, measurability. But to actually measure something, we require information about it. We require information about what's working and what's not, and that's what we call visibility. So really, we can't improve what we can't measure, and we can't measure what we can't see or what we don't know. So visibility is really the prerequisite for all process improvements, and actually, therefore, a prerequisite for business savings. And the role of RFID? Well, RFID really does two things. It can enable an increase in visibility, but it gives us benefits in two, in two ways, really. One is quick wins through data automation, so I don't have to go over, take paper, and type things in, so I get data automation benefits, and those are very fast. But by knowing things that I don't know, I can change the way I do business today. So by using RFID in combination and fusion with software, I can actually enable a lot of lean improvements, and I'll, I'll show you some very real examples of that later on. So another way to look at it is really that the, the level of visibility, the level of measurability, actually determines the maximum level of savings you can have in a company. And I'll try to explain why, because if you can only measure so much and see so much, you can only save so much. If I can increase 
what I measure and what I see. I can potentially increase what I'm going to save. And RFID is a very promising enabler to actually achieve that, but it isn't the final destination. For us, the final destination is real-time, automated, accurate visibility. And RFID is one of many vehicles to actually help us reach that destination. Now, you know, a couple of years ago, we had quite a fragmented situation inside Airbus. Everyone pretty much realized that RFID can help us make savings inside the company and that visibility can help us address the challenges. And the situation was we had a lot of people who wanted to do a lot of things, and that's good. The problem was is that they weren't talking to each other. And the problem was is that a lot of them were duplicating things. And a lot of them were looking at different software solutions, at different vendors, at different contracts, and at the time in Europe, even different standards. And so we had a choice to make. Do we continue along that path, that fragmented path, and end up with spaghetti bolognese at the end? Or do we take the time to proactively harmonize our approach, which may require a little bit more time up front, but in the end is faster, better, and cheaper, not just for Airbus, but for the whole EADS group. EADS is the, the parent company of Airbus. And we decided that we were going to establish uh, the latter, so we were going to take a corporate approach to this. And so we decided to launch a corporate program, and one of the first things that we did was set up a multifunctional steering committee. So we had VPs and decision makers from every function inside Airbus, and we charted together a company strategy, and we prioritized our activities, and we agreed to develop a harmonized approach to everything, a modular approach so we could reuse as much of the things as possible, not just within Airbus, but also within the EADS group. And at the end, what we, what we have now is a selection of standard best practice processes, solutions, and services that not only operate inside Airbus, but actually within the group. And in fact, I, I can tell you, it's actually going beyond the group and actually to some of our customers as well. So what is that corporate program called? It's a bit of a mouthful, I'm afraid. It's called Value Chain Visibility and Auto ID Program, but we call it VCV for short. And, and what is it? It's basically a business transforma transformation program that's looking to streamline our business processes through increased and real-time visibility. And by value chain, what I mean is from our suppliers to Airbus, between the different Airbus sites, and onto our airline customers and industrial partners. And what's it going to give us? What it's going to give us is real-time visibility of key business events, of stock and asset movements, of processes. And by doing that, by having that uh, real-time visibility, we're moving away from a paper analog view of the world to what we call in Airbus a digital fly-by-wire view of the world. And let me give you a, an analogy that we often use in the company to try to exemplify that. Think airports. Imagine you had uh, you know, lots of people, thousands of people, spread out on the airfield with binoculars, mobile phones, and pieces of paper. And every time a plane would climb or descend, they'd write it down on a piece of paper and walk over to a computer system and type it in. That would be their air traffic control system. Imagine how you could manage things like that. Well, they don't. In fact, what they use is radio frequency. They use radar to track what's going on automatically in real time. And all that information comes into an air traffic control system. And that information gets compared about what's allowed and what's not allowed. And it helps people make decisions fast and reduce risk. Why should it be any different for us? In the same way, we are using RFID to build a business radar to gather information automatically about what's going, out, uh, going on in the field. It all comes into our equivalent of an air traffic control system or a central nervous system. We compare the real world performance against targets of what are allowed and what is not allowed, and it flags up the, the, the problems that we have, and it helps us make decisions faster. So really, RFID for us is something that's, that's very key to build a business radar, and that's a reoccurring theme that I'm going to keep on uh, going through this presentation.